of nurses walking off the job at hospitals here in Minnesota. What a vote today could mean for your area and what they want to return. We're live as they make their decision. Today, thousands of nurses are gathering in St. Paul to make a decision that could affect hospitals right here in Minnesota. They're casting their votes right now on whether they should walk off the job. Chris Keating is live in St. Paul with just what it would mean if it goes through. Chris? Vanita, this vote won't be in until 10 o'clock tonight. However, we fully expect that these nurses will authorize a strike and possibly walk off the job by June 1st. Now, it's all happening right here inside this auditorium. Take a look. What happens is nurses walk into their respective workplaces. They register and pick up a ballot. Once they do that, then they go through these curtains over here and they cast those ballots. Now, we are told that if these 12,000 nurses do strike, it would be the largest nurses strike in U.S. history. Good morning, are you Fabbit? By 6 o'clock this morning, nurses were registering to vote inside the Roy Wilkins Auditorium. Just make sure it's filled out completely. Filling out their ballot sheets and making sure their vote was counted. Oh, just put it in there. We couldn't find one nurse who voted to accept the contract offered up by the 13 hospitals, facilities that include North Memorial, Unity, and Children's Hospital. I did not ratify the current proposal. I voted to reject the contract and the pension. There's not much doubt which way the vote will likely go, considering the Minnesota Nurses Association recommended nurses vote to strike. And they also provided nurses paperwork saying a yes vote means you are willing to accept the offer and move our profession back 30 years. Nurses and the six hospital systems that make up what's known as Twin Cities Hospitals can't come together on staffing and pensions. Nurses say patient to nurse ratios are eight to one at times, which they claim is unsafe. Times that I can't do those little things like back rubs or taking the time to hold a hand if somebody is having anxiety. Concerning pensions, the union believes it's all about long-term protection. To keep bringing nurses into the profession and to keep them there and to make sure that we can retire with dignity at a reasonable age and not hobbling around on our walkers yeah. down the hallways taking care of our patients. However, hospitals say they don't want to eliminate any pensions. The issue comes down to contributions. We have a defined benefit for nurses where the hospitals contribute and we are going to continue to contribute to that pension. All we're saying is it needs to be at a reasonable level. The average salary for a full-time nurse is close to $80,000 a year, although 90% are part-timers, according to the union. And as for staffing levels, well, the hospitals say they are safe. If nurses do walk, it would likely happen on June 1st, the day this current contract expires. Now, if this strike does go through, we are told that even if they do just go back for one day, they won't necessarily be allowed back on a job the next day. It wouldn't be a lockout, but hospital officials tell me they'd be dealing with a lot of things. For one, they'd be dealing with contractual obligations with replacement nurses. And it may take a day or more or several days to get those nurses that strike back on the job. But again, we are not done yet. The voting doesn't end until 10 o'clock tonight. Reporting live in downtown St. Paul, Chris Keating, 5 Eyewitness News. Coming to you in high definition, this is Fox at 10. Thousands of Twin Cities nurses casting their ballots. We are live in St. Paul awaiting the outcome of their strike vote. They've been voting since 6 o'clock this morning on a contract offer they say they're not happy with. If the nurses at 14 Twin Cities hospitals vote to walk off the job, it would mean the largest nurses strike in U.S. history. And right now, they're about to hear the results. So first to 10, we're going to go to Fox 9's Leah Bino. She's live in St. Paul. Leah, we're hoping you have an answer for us. Noisy place all of a sudden down there. Yes, we do. The voting just wrapped up at 10 o'clock, and they were voting right up until the last minute. Union leaders are announcing the results as I speak. It's official. They have rejected the hospital's contracts, and they are going to move forward if they, with a strike, as they have said they have chosen to do. Throughout the day, more than 9,000 nurses of the 12,000 total members voted right up until the last minute. 90% rejected the pension cuts and 90% rejected labor cuts. They're calling the results overwhelming. Here's what both sides of the bargaining table had to say. We're united. There's 12,000 of us. We don't all work for the same hospital, but we are sticking together. The hospitals are disappointed that the union has been emphasizing a no vote, and more so that the union has been emphasizing a strike when the hospitals see no need for a strike, that we can continue in negotiations and settle the contract. You can see there has been a lot of anticipation for this result tonight. They're here 
celebrating, although no one really wants to go to a strike, but they are glad to have the ball in their court. We'll have more on the next step for them coming up in just a few minutes. Live in St. Paul, Leah Bino, Fox 9 News. Now we'll see what happens.